Hey guys, welcome back to the Twisty Test Championship. It is England and Bangladesh today. Day three is coming up today for you here. And Bangladesh at the moment, three without loss uh, at stumps overnight. Just the four runs behind England's first innings total. They only got two overs in last night and they should overtake them pretty quickly this morning here as we see this run go through the cover region. That'll be a couple. Pick up three here in Bangladesh. We'll take that lead. Uh, over England right here. So uh, obviously massive day of cricket coming up for you guys um, Because this is probably one of the most important days in the tournament because from an England perspective This is a must-win encounter and with catches like that Joe Denley's impressed He doesn't even worry about his teammates. He goes off to celebrate with the crowd Anderson celebrates taking the wicket, but Je Deadly takes a catch. He's off to the races. Everybody's running to the bowler. He's running to the crowd to celebrate the catch. Absolute scenes here at Lords. Uh, Tammy McBell, the first wicket to fall for 12. And England, can they turn this game uh, around in a way where they're not chasing a massive total? It's going to be a bit of a challenge for them today to really to, to do that. Um, you know, they'll, they'll have to you know, maybe restrict Bangladesh to somewhere below 200 to really have a comfortable chase. We know that they, uh, I think, scored about 240 uh, against Ireland in the fourth innings with a 150-odd partnership between Anderson and Broad. So they can't leave too much of the tail as well. Uh, but they obviously would want to get uh, the minimum total uh, required for, you know, what they want to do in this, in this matchup here. But... Um, Bangladesh, they've got a, a real good opportunity here today. We know that they're out of the tournament, only having uh, the one draw so far with Ireland to their name. Uh, so a win will not be enough to progress them through to the next round, given this is their last match in the Test Championship. So a lot more riding on the line for England here. There's a bit of a shout. It swung in a long way. Ooh, I, I, I've said not out here. Let's see what uh, England will do. He might send this one upstairs for review because it was a pretty close shout uh, from what it looked like. Pitching in line, impact in line, but it looks like it is going to be missing the stumps by a fraction. So great call by me. Just could see it uh, swinging a lot as Hussain smashes this one through the covers. And Bangladesh have very quickly got out to a 53-run lead. They've just pushed through that sort of Opening dangerous moments and after that early loss of the wicket Islam's faced 70 deliveries uh, for his 23 Hussain 40 uh, from his 69 balls faced so Bangladesh now all of a sudden, you know uh, Let's you know you could say they're one for 79. You could say they're one for I guess 74 is the lead so um, Huge position for them to be in now and this is a really promising start to set up a target That'll it'll make it difficult for England if they bat well enough here. And the boundaries so far have continued to come today. Is that one? Oh, plain a miss. What's that? That's uh, the 30th over. We, uh, we've got one over left in the session. This Bangladesh pushed to 94 for one. With another boundary. A couple balls left in this over. And again, another boundary to that, uh, or pretty close to the boundary, to that uh, short, that short, uh, Short side. Both uh, square boundaries here. I think a little bit shorter. As you see, Stuart Broad come in here. And this one just uh, played away to the cover fielder. That'll be a dot ball. And that will take us to lunch on day three. Overcast conditions today. So England will be hoping to swing the ball a bit more after lunch. Uh, 96 for one. Bangladesh with this being an 80 run partnership between Hussain and Islam. They're going to need to break that pretty quickly otherwise this target could just very easily get out of hand from an England point of view they'll want to really just push on as the sun breaks through the clouds a little bit here and uh, maybe makes it just a little bit easier for the batsman as that lead pushes over a hundred Islam smashes this one down the ground Hussain has already brought up his half century as we see Islam on to 45 now should be able to pick up his uh, with a single shortly. At least you'd think so anyway, unless he's going to depart. Oh, huge shout by Anderson, I think it was. Around the wicket. 
for LBW. The umpire's given it out. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a review here, given it is very difficult to get an LBW with that angle, but it certainly hit him very full, and Islam's going to go. He's going to completely walk off the field here, but uh, with that angle across the stumps, it, it's always a tricky one, especially round the wicket. Do you think it, it's generally going down the onside, so... A brave decision by the umpire and it may be a costly decision from Bangladesh to not review it. Um, we don't actually have the ball tracker for that one, but uh, it looked like it probably was going on to hit the stumps, the fact that it was given out. And Bangladesh now 121 for two. Namjul Hussain on 54. There's an edge and well taken by Joe Root. So a couple of wickets for England. Maybe just steady the ship for just a fraction of a moment. This. this is a really good catch by Joe. Had to get forward and down and across. And he took it nicely. Turned well to take the catch. Hussain out. England have three wickets. Bangladesh, their lead, 139 at the moment with that boundary. It's Monimal Huck and Mushfika Rahim now trying to once again build another partnership for Bangladesh. And uh, the total. Is, is continuing to push out there. It's 161 at the moment and still with only three wickets lost. Uh, certainly they're in for you know, a really good uh, good good target here that, that's probably going to be defendable from a Bangladesh point of view. As we see Monimal Huck again, he's just raced away almost towards a half century. Moves to 48 with this boundary from just 58 deliveries and now again through the air. And another boundary, so he will pick up 50 from 59 balls. Nine boundaries in there as well from Monimal Hock. It has been a very good uh, knock by him. As we see a big shout, was there any bat involved? His leech is going crazy, but nothing doing according to the umpire. Is that one, jeez, I don't know if that was dropped or it just dropped short on Anderson. It was very close. 193. For three, that'll be the end of the second session of play here. So huge final session for England coming up. 195 for three, Bangladesh. They need to get maybe three or four wickets in this session, England, to get themselves well and truly back in the game. Stuart Broad's going to kick us off here for the final session, and it's a dot. But uh, yeah, Rahim and Hark and oh, a shout. And the wicket is given. So the LBW seems the most likely today for England. They've got a couple of wickets in that fashion. That one, Stuart Broad swinging it in on Mushfika Rahim. He's out for 15. Mohamed Mithin now joins Monimal Huck at the crease. But uh, the lead, again, with another boundary, just continues to grow. It's pushed over 200 now. Really, that's going to make it psychologically a bit more of a difficult task for England. Just knowing you've got to chase more than 200 does make it quite a challenge. Another dot. Oh, they thought about the single. And oh dear, it's going to be overthrows now. So it'll be a boundary anyway. Just not what you need if you're England at this stage. Any sort of bonus runs you give away to the other team is just increasing that lead. It's up to 214. As Mohamed Mithin gets this away, it'll be more runs. The lead up to 218 with 225 already on the scoreboard. And that lovely classy drive through point. 220 the lead now. Archer, what's he got in store? Oh, that's a very, very big shout. And it's given as well. So Jofra Archer gets one. 227 for five. They've picked up two wickets in this final session already, England. And an edge. Oh, it's through the gap. Gee, they've got about five slips, but no one in between about second and fourth. And just a really big gap that Litton Das was able to knock that one into. So, real disappointing. And now chopped on. So, another wicket for England. That's three that have fallen in this session. This one, Archer, gets the inside edge. And it was the dangerous Monimal Hock. He was on 80, I think. 86, 240 for six now, Bangladesh. And England with their, just with their toes up at the moment. 
getting uh, into the game. They've just lifted a little bit in the field. The bowlers are up and about. Oh, quick single's going to be close. Oh, direct hit from Rory Burns. Out. Huge. Look at this, just a little inside edge onto the pad. They wanted the quick single. Rory Burns, quick to respond. Gets the underarm throw at the stumps. The direct hit causes another run out. Look at this, bang. He's about a foot short. A costly running decision from Bangladesh, but a brilliant piece of fielding by Rory Burns. 240 for seven. Bangladesh have lost four wickets in this session. The lead... 233 so it's still not the worst total in the world but England are starting to get themselves at least uh, in with a chance of, of reducing it because they don't want it to you know really go over that 250 300 mark as there's another edge and a ripping catch is taken here I think this might have been Joe Denley the second screamer of the day have a look at him there in gully yes I think it was Diving to his right this time. Last time I think he dove to his left. He's been everywhere in the field today, Joe Denley. Jay Ed out for two, 242 for eight, and England continue their press and assault. That makes it five wickets for the session so far, and Bangladesh haven't really increased the lead whatsoever. Another tight single that they're gonna get. 241 the lead. Edged, oh, just drops short. So Litton Das, 11 from 36. Hasn't been really able to trouble the scoreboard too much. Hussain likewise. They've just been surviving over after over at the moment. The lead, 249. Edged and gone. It will remain at 249. Bangladesh, one wicket in the shed. Jofra Archer this time. Gets it through to Butler. Ibadat Hussain out for four. Bangladesh 259 for 9. 87 overs have been bowled. Jeez. Just lots happening today. Stuart Broad here to bowl the final over of the day here as uh, Bangladesh 262 for 9. Can England finish the day off on a high or will Bangladesh just maybe get a little bit of a psychological edge being 9 down? at stumps. So we see another couple of runs here. Three balls left in the day's play. That one through to the keeper for another dot. So we got uh, two balls remaining here to Hassan Miraz. You'd want to get Litton Das on strike. He's a swing and a miss. Litton Das 20 from 64, but he's going to be at the non-striker's end for the final ball of the day's play. Just doing a bit of gardening there. Stuart Broad hoping to get this final wicket. Asama Raz just needs to see it through. Edged and taken. So England off the final ball of the day. Get the final wicket they require. They'll go in with momentum to day four. After seven wickets in the final session. Bangladesh lost seven for 36. Uh, sorry, six for 36 in what was a bit of a collapse but just a, a great bowling effort and in the field from England Rory Burns with a run out there as well but uh, it's you know Archer 3 for 54 Broad 3 for 75 Anderson uh, what did he do he had 2 for 55 Leach 1 for 43 Stokes unable to get a wicket but the run out uh, from Rory Burns there as well so it sets us up for an exciting fourth day of play England will be chasing 257 for victory Bangladesh need 10 wickets to kick off finish off their TTC campaign thanks for watching I'll see you guys tomorrow